actually divorced Weight Watchers. And I know a lot of people are gonna be like, oh my god. No, Amber, that was our reaction when you joined Weight Watchers again. Hi, I'm Cassandra and welcome to my channel. Uh, this, obviously, if you saw the little intro, is concerning Amberlynn Reed, the YouTuber famous for starting a weight loss channel and gaining over 200 pounds. Good job. Yeah, everyone knew this was going to happen. Uh, it always happens with her. If you don't know what she's going through she just recently broke up with her partner and she has been eating her feelings per usual and decided she needed to do something to lose weight and so she joined Weight Watchers WW yet again and didn't go very good because of her weight she is able to have 82 daily points which is a lot and um, 28 weeklies to be used throughout the week. And in her first day, in her first day, uh, she ate 89. But then again, she ate Shake Shack and Chewies. And didn't eat any of the, what, Chantal Foodie Beauty, who just joined Weight Watchers. Oh God, there's another fail. Um, uh, call free foods. They're zero point foods. They're not free. Just so you know. So, um, what is Amber's excuse? This time? Her excuse this time is the same that it always is. Uh, Weight Watchers allows her to eat junk. No. You allow yourself to eat junk. Um, nobody forces junk down her throat. So nobody orders the junk for her. Um, she does all this herself. So she just associates WW with junk food and being able to eat junk food because she's been able to lose weight in the past or yeah, whatever. I don't know. Anyway yeah that's that's her excuse it's her excuse every single time um but she eats takeout all the time anyway and so even though she is a food addict she's an overeater um, you find out what the real problem is with her now what the problem is and she even states it in the video is that it is easier to order takeout and eat junk than it is to basically cook and considering she does not like to cook. So here is the issue. That is the big issue with her. I mean, there's also the food addiction, blah, 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 blah. We're not going to touch that. That's for therapy. Okay. Therapy that doesn't work on her because she doesn't discuss these things and work on them in therapy. You gotta bring them up and discuss them and work on them in therapy. There you go. I'm not a shrink, but I, I can put two and two together and get unique therapy. So, here's the problem and it's exacerbated by the fact that she is, you know, 500 pounds, okay? Um, it's not going to be easy for her to do anything in a kitchen. It just isn't. Um, but she's going to have to learn to. And I am of the school of thought that in order to be healthier, you have to eat healthier. And in order to eat healthier, you have to prepare the foods yourself so you know what you're putting in everything. She made this gook that... Um, I might try to make my way, um, 
recently in a video, but the thing is she uses taco seasoning. Am I going to diss anybody for using taco seasoning? Hell no. But for the longest time, I would just make my own and that way I knew how much sodium was in it and I just make it my way. But that's the thing. If you want to watch your sodium intake, you have to make your own food. If you want to watch how many carbs are in your food, because now she's looking at low carb, um, you have to make your own food. Um, kind of understanding how much fat is in it, you have to make your own food. You have to make your own food. Eventually, that's what you have to evolve to, is making your own food. Um, she's just going to have to grow up and be an adult, like the rest of us, and make her own food, because this idea of being able to eat takeout three times a day is entitlement. It's something that almost no one can do. Very few people can. So that is what she is going to have to go from she's going to have to address. She is going to have to eventually cook for her own damn self. Okay? Alright? And not just throw everything in a pot and just say, oh, this is dinner. Um, but, you know, there's some, I have some thoughts not just on what she should be doing but also maybe what um, Weight Watchers should be doing. So, my thought on Weight Watchers is I don't think they are geared towards people who are super morbidly obese. I'm not saying it can't help. It really can, but the amount of points someone who is that heavy, who is over 500 pounds, gets is astronomical. And if they're going to eat all of those points, it's they're not going to learn any healthy habits. So the healthy habits need to be what you gravitate towards. I noticed <laughs> um, my on Monday I weighed in my weekly's reset to 21. They've been 28 forever. So I finally talked to Weight Watchers and got on a little chat. They checked everything and it's because of my weight loss. Like I said, I've lost 84.8 pounds. I am um, just a little over 160 at this point at five foot five. And so my weeklies have gone down because my dailies are only 23 points. So my weeklies are now 21. And that is to help me continue to lose weight and get down to a normal weight range because I'm not quite there yet. But that's what happens. Your points start to go down. Um, you don't have to eat all your points. And I think that was the thing. It's like when it comes to people who are, they might be obese, their points aren't astronomical. They're not, you know, they might be 30 something points, but still that's not a lot. I mean, um, the Panda Express that Amber just ate today, about 35 points. You know, if I eat that, I go well into my weeklies. Um, someone, you know, me at my highest weight, eat that, and all my dailies would be gone. So, I mean, I think that's the thing Weight Watchers needs to think about. They are willing to drop points down as you lose weight to continue, to help you continue to lose weight. But I think they need to rethink the idea that, you know, they want you to lose one to two pounds a week because it's a slow, stay, uh, safe steady weight loss, but I think with someone who is um, morbidly obese, super morbidly obese, you need to cap it. You need to cap their points. Maybe cap it at 45. It's like once you, it's like once you hit a certain weight, if you're above that, you don't get any extra points. And I think they might have done that a long time ago. Um, I don't know. can't remember. It's been a long time. So that's my thought for Weight Watchers cap the points for this morbidly, super morbidly obese, because I think it has been within the last couple decades where it's become more of an issue with people. And, um, I do know there is one YouTuber. I will put her little name right here. Um, she's trying to lose 200 pounds. So that means she's pretty good size. Um, 
I'm not saying it's not it's impossible it's not impossible she can really do it and she's doing really well so um but Weight Watchers you know truthfully isn't for everybody and so someone who is um struggling with food issues maybe it's not the best thing for them sometimes it is more difficult to actually deal with the points than it is sometimes to deal with a calorie counting app um because I've done both um but yeah and if you have dietary restrictions uh like if you're vegan uh weight watchers probably wouldn't work for you um there is a youtuber uh tiny blue dancer um i'll tag her down in the description as well she has uh dietary restrictions she doesn't do dairy uh, and she does enjoy her red meat and so she joined weight watchers with amber and it's not working for her because i think of the dietary restrictions that she is under so they try to do the best they can they can't cater to everybody they can only cater to a majority and i think certain things like dietary restrictions are a little bit beyond them but the big thing is the obesity the super morbidly obese anybody like over 400 pounds i think um you'd have to cap their points at something much lower and try and push them towards the uh zero point foods and starting to eat whole foods and eating those foods to kind of satisfy themselves and um keep them full longer because i was asked when i was wondering what happened to my weekly points she asked how'd you do it how are, how are you doing this and i said i get creative because chicken gets boring <laughs> chicken is very boring so you have to get creative and work with your zero point foods in order to be more successful and stay fuller longer and yeah but the other thing too with amber is she won't say no to herself and that is why she eats takeout constantly it's why um nothing works for her uh, weight loss surgery was not going to work for her because she can't say no to herself she is eating huge amounts of takeout because she can because she wants to um and she's taking some gummies uh, because she wants to um she has that kind of personality and so she either has to learn to say no to herself which that's therapy or she needs impatient um before she kicks the bucket and I think her little fur babies, Twinkie and Rarity and Wasabi, would prefer maybe not winding up in a shelter. Because, I mean, I'm very fortunate where I live. There are no kill shelters in my little town. I don't know about other places. Um, they may not be so lucky if their fur mama... Um, starts pushing up daisies so she has responsibilities to herself to her family to her pets um she needs to take shit seriously um it's why and it's for uh, molly fitz um we've been having a discussion in mama goobs uh, uh comment section um mama goob tends to be kind of harsh and the reason is because amber needed a mother and hers is trying to, I think, more trying to be her friend. Because her mom was an addict and kind of loved her drugs and shit. More than her Amber. More than she loved her daughter, Amber. And so, and trust me, that's how addicts are. Daughter of an alcoholic. Fun. Um, yeah, I mean, you can't be your kid's friend. Um, you can have a good relationship and a friendly relationship, but there has to come a time where you have to stand up to a family member who's harming themselves. And that's what Amber's doing. She's harming herself and her mother needs to stand up to her and say, no, no, I will not let you do that because she's going to be the one burying her daughter if she doesn't grow a spine 
and jeopardize her relationship because she's going to have to. So anyway, I just went off on a little thing. Now, one of the things, because this is going to be a long video too, because I started ranting. The thing I've never given Amber shit about, even though I don't agree with it, is eating processed foods. Um, I get it. I've done it. Um, when you eat healthier and you go back to processed foods, you feel like crap. Because I did that. And I felt like crap. But if she's eating all this takeout, she already feels like crap. So um, she needs to do something. And she needs to... Um, if it's pre-made salads or bag salads or anything like that, lunch meat, do that and start eating those things instead of the takeout. And then also maybe make it her, I mean, she should make it her goal to cook one meal every day. One meal she has to cook from scratch and do it that way. And then slowly work her way to food prep and, um, making meals because she's not going to make it. That's the truth. That is the absolute truth. Um, we all know she's going to fail everything she tries, but we do hope that something will take and then she proves us all right. It's like, hey, yeah, it's not going to work for you because she's not going to get help. And we just hope, but, you know, hope for the best, prepare for the worst. And with her, it's usually the worst. So I don't know. I don't know. But um, saw it coming. Uh, Weight Watchers is not an excuse to just eat crap. Um, take the time to learn how to eat healthy. Um, if you have a diet that's you know, dietary restrictions, then don't do it. Do something else, you know. Um, but the reason it's called a weight loss journey is because it is a journey of learning to become a healthier version of yourself. Keep that in mind. All right, I'm going to go now. Thanks for watching.